Hi, and welcome back. I'm super excited because I've got some J-pop items in here. After discovering a couple of J-pop groups, uh, this is one of them. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this unboxed. Let's check it out. Now that I got the items out, I got a Naniwa Danji calendar from April 2023 to March of 2024. So it says right here. And I also got one of their, I think this was their debut CD called First Love. So uh, this is like a special edition version. I think they had three different versions. And this had like extra songs on it. So. Okay, I'm excited about opening both of these. Um, I guess I'll go for this first and then we'll take a look at the calendar. Okay, so this is the cover to the CD here. The side of it. The back with the track listing. And it has a making of music video. And there is the side of it. Okay, so this looks like a little booklet. And this is the CD cover. Looks like it's... Oh, okay, that's interesting. So there's the disc one. They're stuck together, these two discs. And two other discs. Okay. <clears throat> so, I guess we'll take a look at the little booklet that's inside here. This picture of all the members. There's seven members in this group. That's the back side of it. I think their standard version CD of this album had this cover. But maybe a further out shot. Got the lyrics. Okay, so that's the little booklet. booklet. So I've got pictures of each individual member. Almost looks like they have them in units when <laughs> they have them this close. Yeah, I just discovered Nani Wadanchi. So they're a young idol group from Japan on Johnny Juniors. I think that's the label. There's also another uh, group that I like from this label. And they're called Travis Japan. So hopefully I'm right on that. So I'm really brand new to these two J-pop groups. I'll probably put like a sample or two of a couple of Nani Wadanchi's uh, music videos or live performances. Or they got a different theme. It's 
a really nice little photo book. They're like one of the biggest idol groups in Japan right now is this group right here, Nani no Danchi. Okay, so that was the little photo book. They have another album called Pop Mall out right now and it has uh, a song I really, really <laughs> like on that one. And they just released a new music video called Alpha. Take a look at the cover of the box for the calendar. It says Johnny's official calendar. And there is like the month, year, month, and year. And names of the members. And this is the fan base name. So Dear Nanny Fam. This is the sides. And the back side. A little information about the group um, that I pulled up on the J-Pop Wiki. It says that they're a seven-member group of male idols from Kansai under Smile Up. They debuted on November 12th, 2021 with their single Ubu Love from Storm Labels. I've also seen another date saying July the 7th of 2021 was debut, but this says November 12th of 2021. Um, go ahead and get this open. I think that seal, I need to break it. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll take a look inside. So here is everything. This is a little um, thing for uh, little uh, acrylic stands. Some stickers. I read that there was 196 pages in this, so a lot to look through. Then it has a little, there's a little acrylic stand, standy things right here. With, and that's what it will stand on, so I'll set that aside. This is the last of the goods. So I'll go ahead and set the box aside. And take a look through um, this here first. It has this really cute sticker sheet with each member's face on it. So this is the same member here, <laughs> here. So it goes down from top to bottom and then group pictures. They are very cute. <laughs> and their style is really cute. Um, you know, most of their stuff is like super cute and some of it, you know, there's like a couple of really, uh, like one song sounded EDM I really like. <laughs> uh, so it was cool. This one, they said popped loose. So, uh, so he popped out of the, the thing where he's supposed to be staying right there. It's for like teacups or something you can set them in. And there's the names of each member there. Okay, and then the remaining members. And I think that's all that was in this little shopping bag that they got right here. And these little stickers, I think I'll just put with it. So um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the calendar and then we'll take a look at these little things last. Okay, it looks like it has two different sides, so it could be this way right here. 
where it says uh, the calendar. So it'll probably be, I'm guessing this is Nani Wadanchi in Japanese. And there it says Johnny's official at the top, right there. So it was turned this direction, which has more of uh, sensual shots where they're laying in bed. So I guess we'll go ahead and start looking through this. Oh, that is cute. Interesting, okay. Maybe the other side is the calendar, because this is camera. Pictures that they have taken. Just kind of give you a quick look. I don't think I can get all of the pictures in there. So that's a sample of what that is. And then there's like stuff they've written that they have done that looks like. It says free space, love to talk, their schedule, history. So each member has written stuff on this. I'll just kind of flip through that quickly. Kind of makes me think of uh, the K-pop seasons greetings. really cute each individual member talking probably question and answers with each member okay then we're getting into the calendar so gotta turn this way for that I'll zoom out a little starting off with this one here I'll show this side first and then I'll go back and we'll look at the other side. Really, that one picture I saw was pretty, so it has some pretty pictures where they're next to plants, like this one, <laughs> like the previous picture, too. These almost look like pictures for like you could put on your iPhone or smartphone like the cover of your phone at the time so what it makes me think of this one's super cute
here. You got some sexy poses strung out through here as well. This calendar is very thick. Uh, I was looking up some information about them too that I just thought of now and it, some people had asked what Naniwa stands for and it said flower in the waves that's what Naniwa stands for I don't know why I just, I just thought of it at this moment it's really pretty the flowers behind him he has a cute smile so I think this is Michiada Shonsuke. I'm not sure. I don't want to butcher their names. Because <laughs> I haven't heard their names pronounced. Okay, so that's where this one will now start from this side and go back the other direction. So yeah, this is very thick. So I'll just try to flip through this quickly. Yeah, I was just checking out things. Uh, and stumbled across Nami Wadanshi in Travis, Japan, and a few other J pop groups. But uh, they have such a cute style and everything. They're really, really cute and sweet. So I find that really appealing. And uh, Travis, Japan has a more of like a 1980s and a little bit modern dance pop kind of style. Now they have a couple of songs that I heard that one that sounded like an EDM dance song. I hope that's cute. <laughs> He's like a magician. He has his top hat and cape. Oh, hold it on the very door now. How cute. He's in the traditional clothing of uh, Japan's ancient times. I like that picture here. <laughs> if I can think of any other information, I'll just kind of <laughs> speak up here and there. They had a new music video that released, I think I told, talked to you about earlier in the video called Alpha. It just like released yesterday, I think, or the day before. I was thinking it was yesterday. They've done a lot of videos like K-pop groups um, where they cook and they go do random things like a variety show, kind of like run BTS.
they're really extremely popular in the group. I mean, not in the group. They're really extremely popular in Japan. Um, there's some information that I'd seen on Google talking about um, how popular and how many records they have sold in Japan. Okay, so that is the end of the book. No, wait. The cover looked like that, so that threw me off. I thought that was the end of it. Like, no, there's a few more pages left. Oh, that was cute. Oh, that's pretty. The flowers around him. And the snow. Oh. This picture of getting strong Jonggu vibes. <laughs> Just the way he looked, that he, that member looked in the picture. Oh, so cute. Lounging in. I remember chairs like this <laughs> from the 1980s. Um, I've seen, uh, my family may have had a chair or something like that. Poker cards. Oh, cute. There's a lot of cute pictures strung around here along with the sexy ones. <laughs> He's gonna eat this snow. gives you lots and lots of pictures. Oh, that's really cute. The way they have it set up, it's just like, you know, it's just a picture and it has like the dates here, I think. So, yeah. I guess that would be March right there and then those are the, the dates. Interesting setup. Now we've come to the end. I think we saw this one earlier, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's the end of the calendar. The stickers were here, so I'm not quite done because there was uh, this and these little standees. not like super thick like the k-pop ones they're really thin but still uh, really cute so try to get that where it's not blurry Yeah, those are really cute. This is what you'd use to put it on, and there you go. Really super cute. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Hope that you enjoyed watching this unboxing. If you did, give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, 
at the end of my video, there will be a subscription button with my picture, the picture of J-Hope on there. Just click on that and subscribe. So until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye.